Hi YouTube, welcome to MA Academy C++ Data Structures Tutorial Series. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to insert a node at a particular index. So if you haven't watched my previous uh, few tutorials, um, in this linked list series, in the first tutorial, I showed you how to create a very basic and simple linked list. Uh, in the second tutorial, I showed you how to insert a node at the, B and the, at the end of the linked list. And in the third tutorial, which was the previous one, I showed you how to insert a node at the beginning of the linked list. But what if you wanted to insert a link, uh, a node at a particular index in the linked list? So that's what we will learn in this tutorial. So let's get started. So um, by the way, uh, I will quickly go over these things, some of the things, because I've already covered them in depth in the previous tutorials. So this is the program. Um, so this is our node. This is the first pointer, which will point to the first node in the index. This is the insert last uh, function, which I covered in the second tutorial. And this is the insert first function, which I covered in the uh, previous tutorial, which was the third tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will cover this function, which is insert at index. Uh, now in here, um, so let's uh, quickly go over it through the, these diagrams, through these diagrams, because um, uh, first let's understand how it works. Um, with the help of these diagrams, what the nodes look like inside the heap and what do we want to achieve. Then we will look at the code. So in here, for now being, we can see that this is how our heap looks like right now. So we have uh, four nodes. Uh, we have two pointers. The first one is pointing to the first node and the last pointer is pointing to the last node. So in here, we can see that uh, this node in here, we can see the red line in here, it's pointing to this node. And the second node in here, it's pointing to the third node. And the third node, we can see that it is pointing to the fourth node, which is the last node because it has a null in it. So we, what we want to do is we want to add a new node. So in here, if you look at this in here, so we can see that um, currently this is how our uh, link list looks like. So there is the first node, second node, third node, and fourth node. The first node in here, we can see it's pointing to the first node and the last, uh, sorry, the first pointer is pointing to the first node and the last pointer is pointing to the last node. So in here we can see that this is our linked list. It's 9, 15, 22, and 19. So what we want to do is we want to add a node at let's say index two. So we know that indexing, it always starts at zero. So this is the index of zero. This is the index of one and this is uh, two and this is three. So we want to add an new node at index two. So we want to add something in between these two nodes in here so that this becomes index uh, three and this becomes index four. So we want to insert a node in here. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to create a node. So in here you can see that we have uh, created a node and we um, put in data, whatever data we want. So in this case, we have put 55 in the data port. The next port for now being is null. It's not pointing to anything. So now that we have created this node in here, what do we do next? So next what we do is, so we saw that in the previous one, so this in here, the first, the second node in here was pointing to the, this node in here. However, we want to insert this in between these two. So this node, the second node, which has an index of one, uh, instead of pointing to this 126, so in here we can see that it's 126. We want it to point to this newly created node, which has the address of 554. So this content has to change to 554. So in here, you can see that now this pointer, it is pointing to the newly created node. So we can see that this is 554 and 554 is the address of the newly created node. Next, what we do is, so we saw that previously this second node was pointing to the th third node. So now this null, it has to change. It has to point to this node um, because right now, the first node is pointing to the second, second is pointing to the third, and this has a null. So we have to say it has, point, it has to point to this new node in here. So to the, sorry, the new node has to point to this new node in here, to which previously the second node was pointing. So we can see that it has an address of 126. So currently it has, to, it has null. So we have to change this address to 126. So how do we do that? In here you can see that since it has the address of 126, we change the contents of this, um, this node in here and the second part of this node which previously was null and now we are saying uh, so in here you can see that it was null now we are saying it is equal to 126 so this has the address of 126 so now uh, this pointer this node in here which was previously pointing to this node and now this node is pointing to the newly created node and this newly created node is pointing to uh, this node in here 
so how does it look like once we do insert it so this is how it will look once you are done inserting it so you can see that the first pointer is still pointing to the first note then the last pointer is still pointing to the last note however uh, previously we saw that the after uh, 15 we had 22 but then we inserted 35 in between them so if you look at it so now we can see that there is 15 there is 22 but now we have successfully managed to insert 35 between these two after we are done doing that this is how it will look like inside our memory so inside the heap section of our memory so for now being uh, previously it looked something like this now we created a new node so in here we can see that we have created 35 so what we have to do uh, still the first pointer is pointing to the first node and the last pointer is pointing to the last, last node uh, and this we can see that the first pointer was uh, now is pointing to the sorry the first node is pointing to the second node and previously the second node was pointing to 22 which you can see in here however now that we have created this new node so this um, second one is pointing to this third node and third node is pointing to the fourth and fourth one is pointing to the last node so now that we know how it works um, let's look at the code in here so this is the insert at index so it takes the index and it takes an integer so the first thing that we do is we create a pointer and we are calling it tracker and it's of type struct node so it means that the tracker will point to a um, struct to a struct node so its data type is struct node and it is equal to what first so we know that um, the first pointer is pointing to the first node in here so the first pointer will point to the first node so now we have created a uh, another uh, pointer that is again pointing to the first node so it's called tracker so for now being um, this uh, first pointer and uh, this let's say that there is another pointer in here and you are both pointing to the first node in here next what happens is we are saying extract node temp so temp is used um, to create a new node so in here we are using this temp pointer and then we are saying temp is equal to new node so with the help of this pointer we are creating a new node and this temp is pointing to that right now then we are saying temps data is equal to x so whatever the user types in here we are saying that data section should contain that so if you look at the code in here so we say when we say temp is equal to a new node and data is equal to x so with the help of temp new node we create this new node in here so when you create it it will be empty then we say uh, temp is temps data is equal to x so what it means it means that whatever the user types the data section of, uh, of it should contain whatever the user types so in here we can see that so for now being we have this 35 however the next part is still empty it doesn't have anything then we are uh, checking for it so we are saying if index is equal to zero so if index is equal to zero what does it mean it means that we want to insert something at the beginning of the list because as i said indexing starts at zero so this will have an index of zero this will have an index of one this will have an index of two and this will have an index of three so if you want to add something uh, at index zero it means we want to add something at the beginning of the list so if you want to add something at the beginning of the list we are saying temps next is equal to first so this temp temp is currently pointing to the nest uh, to this object in here to the newly created node so we are uh, we are saying it's next so in here this is the next part of it right so it has a data part and it has a next part so we are saying it's next should point to what to whatever the first is pointing to so in here you can see that temps next is equal to first so whatever the first is pointing to which uh, currently is pointing to 300 so we are saying uh, this should also point to that and then we say first is equal to temp so once this points to the this node in here the newly created node it points to the first node in here then it means that since this will be the first node so you don't want first to point to this node because then it will be the second node we want first to point to this newly created node so this is what this line does uh, so again uh, this is what i covered in the previous tutorial so this code in here that we can see it's the same as this part in here temps next is equal to first and then first is equal to temp so these are both the same here you can see next we go into the if index is not zero we move into the else part once we do that we uh, let's say we want to, to insert something at, at the index of two so let's say this is index of zero this is index of one uh, so we want something to insert in here between these two nodes in here at index two so this currently is index two this will be index three so what we want to do we want to add something in between these two nodes now so we say for int i is equal to zero 
then we say index is equal to minus one and then i plus plus so i is equal to zero and we are showing we are saying uh, for as long as i is less than index minus one so index currently is equal to so we said we will want we want to add something at index two so index is equal to two right so two minus one is equal to one so is zero less than one yes it is uh, equal to one uh, so it's less uh, less than one so yes zero is less than one so if it's less than one then we are executing this statement in here so it's saying tracker is equal to tracker next so in here we say that tracker was equal to the first node so in here we can see that um, the first pointer and the tracker let's say there is this pointer called tracker in here and they are both pointing to the first node so what do we do we say tracker is equal to trackers next so what is trackers next trackers next is 110 which is this node in here so we are saying tracker is equal to tracker next so this line it will move the tracker from the first node to the second node so previously when we said the tracker is equal to first uh, tracker was pointing to the first node now it's pointing to the next node because we are saying tracker is equal to tracker next and since this contains the address of the next node so this is what the tracker will point to so for now the first pointer is pointing to this node and tracker pointer it is pointing to this node then we go again to this uh, loop uh, in here for loop so we said i plus plus so i was zero now i is one so then we are checking is i less than one so i is not less than one so you want to execute it so we said index is equal to two two minus one is equal to one and this time one will i will be one so one is not equal to null so we want to execute this statement then we move to this one in here so we are saying temps next is equal to trackers next so temp in here we can see that this is the newly created node to which temp is pointing to now first is pointing to this node the uh, tracker pointer is pointing to the second node in here that we can see so we say temp next is equal to tracker next so temps next so this is a temp it has two ports this is the data port and this is the next port so we are saying its next is equal to whatever trackers next is so since tracker is pointing to this node in here its next contains 126 so we are saying temps next should also be 126 again guys so this is currently null we are saying temps next is equal to trackers next so temps next is null and trackers next is 126 so we want this to change to 126 so this is what it will do so now we can see that its next contains 126 because previously we saw that its next was 126 right so now as soon as we execute this statement it will also become 126 which is this in here the address of this node the third node now next what we do we are saying trackers next is equal to temp so previously we saw that trackers next was 126 and when we say that temps next is equal to trackers next so this null became 126 which is the address of 126 but now we are saying tracker next is equal to temp so this 126 will change to temp so temp is currently has this address of 554 so this 126 should change to 554 so in here we can see that this address has changed to 554 previously it was pointing to 126 now it has changed to 554 so now this is how our link list will look like right now so the first pointer is pointing to the second one sorry the first node is pointing to the second node the second node is pointing to the third node third node is fourth and fourth node is pointing to the last node which is the fifth node so with the help of these uh, two statements we said that temp should point to the uh, trackers next and trackers next should point to temp so with that help of these couple of statements we inserted this uh, newly created node between this node and this node in here so we created this node with 35 in between the node with 15 and 22 inside it so this is how you insert a node inside the linked list at a particular index so let's uh, try it in here let's see if it works so let's say insert at index and we want to insert it at the second and we want the value to be 35 so let's do it let's run it so build succeeded that's good so in here you can see that we have 35 in between these two so this is 9 is at index 0 15 is in the at index 1 and you can see that 35 is at index 2 so this is how we have managed to add index um, sorry this number at a particular index which was 2 so this is how you can insert a node at a particular index. 
so this is it for this one guys um, if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and if you found this tutorial useful make sure to share it with your friends and i will see you guys in the next one